Hey guys, you ready to wire up another boat? Yeah, another one. Um, this one's going to be a little bit easier, a little bit quicker, and a little bit simpler. This is my wife's yellow fin. It's a Vibe Yellow Fin 120. And as soon as she saw me putting lights on my boat, uh, that's when it was decided that we're going to put lights on her boat as well. I've already made her a 360 for the back and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how we're doing the navigation lights up front. This one's different. This one is pure simplicity. There's no fish finders, none of that. And of course you can add it, but just for the sake of this video, this is going to be very basic. We're basing all that off a portable power box. If you haven't seen my video on DIY uh, kayak and camping power box, there'll be a link right here up to that video. I've done a video on these before. For her boat, she's just going to keep this right here underneath the little cover. And I put an SAE plug in the front of her boat. And all that plug does is it powers these two navigation lights up here. And when she's not using them, which most of the time she's not going to be using them, but when she's not using them, it's closed up, it's waterproof, good to go. And when you're ready to use it, plug it in there, take the other end, and has a fuse. You'll see about that later in the video. Take that, plug it in, and is it on camera? Boom. There you go. There's a red one on the other side. So. It doesn't get much simpler than that. And for, for her rear light, uh, we just put a cord on it that's long enough that it'll come up and it plugs into this same box. So, yeah, let's do it. Alright guys, the first thing you need to do is test each one of the lights, or at least one of them, and figure out which one's port and which one's starboard. So I'm just using my drill battery to light it up and, and make sure that that one's red or the port side. Once you got one, you'll obviously know which one goes to the other side. Then you need to do your placement, and I'm doing it on this boat, I'm doing it where I'm doing it. Uh, one because it's obviously goes in the front but if you look the uh, the drain hole on the yellow fin is on top and it's gonna make it easier for the wiring and you'll see about that in a minute the the channel that comes with the lights has uh, double sticky tape on the back of it so it makes placement really easy you peel it off stick it where you want it and then you have those end caps. Once you get the end caps on, you can pre-drill and then those holes are already done. And you can see here, I'm, I'm pulling the drain out and the reason I'm doing it the way I'm doing it is it, there's no access in the front of this boat. So by running the wires, right in line with that drain I was able to fish them up and out that drain hole it made it it made it pretty easy um, <laughs> the dogs <laughs> so then you gotta seal up all your holes um, I'm just using goop I don't I don't know if that's the quote unquote proper thing to use but hey it's been working for me and it seems like it's pretty waterproof you just take and, and put the screws in and you're good to go. So here is, uh, that's the next one. That's the green one or the uh, starboard one. And I put my, the dumb looking GoPro mount for my, for, to wear it on my head. So maybe I can give you guys a better angle. So use a sharp Sharpie. That's what I'm saying here. Um, if you've got a sharp Sharpie that's got a good point on it, you can use it and poke through those mountain holes and that lines them up or makes a good mark where you can line up and drill them out. 
So you can see I just pulled the backing, the, the backing paper off the and just stick it on and put those deals in and pre-drill them with a little tiny drill bit. And then the hole for the wire, I'm using the tiny drill bit uh, to pilot hole it and then I made it a little bit bigger. You don't want to try to start with a big drill bit because you might you might crack it or break it or something. So then you just run the wires in and then you know stick your finger in that hole and, and guide them up through the hole. And that easy, easy, nothing to it. Fill in the fill in any holes with the with the goop or the marine sealant, whatever you feel like is best for you. So then that's 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 it as far as mounting those lights. It's it doesn't get much easier than that. And use a screwdriver to put those screws in. That's our newest family member, that's Chachi. <laughs> I still had that dull sharpie, I had to get it out of the way. It was driving me nuts. I don't know why I didn't just throw it in the trash. So here, you know, I'm just marking where the center of my hole is going to be, and then I'm going to make one pilot hole with a 3 16 bit, and then I switch to the unibit, or whatever you want to call it, unibit, step bit, Christmas tree bit test it make sure it's gonna work and there you go so that's a good fit now don't just put it in screw it in yet I got my uh, my wiring connectors connectors <laughs> my junky my junky electrical drawer <laughs> that I'm having to look for stuff so that you're gonna need your shrink tubing and a heat gun the easiest way to get those wires through was a coat hanger. I just took a wire coat hanger, taped it, run it through there. So now you, you just strip it off the wires. You put the reds together, you put the blacks together. Nothing to it. Put a butt connector on there and uh, crimp them together. And you got to remember to do your, uh, your shrink tubing after you get them done. But remember to put shrink tubing on one side of the wiring before you crimp it or you're never gonna get it on. That's the SAE plug. And I'm uh, looking for the shrink tubing. <laughs> Story of my life is I'm always looking for crap that I just set down somewhere else. So put your shrink tubing on and uh, then strip your wires, put them in the butt connectors and crimp them on and just squeeze the crimpers as hard as you can. Then slide the shrink tubing. Oh yeah, and don't forget your extension cord. Then slide your shrink tubing over and heat gun it down. You can use a, a cigarette lighter too. It works just, just as well. Take a Sharpie, line your plug up, and you remember, use a sharp Sharpie. Then take another tiny drill bit, drill out those mountain holes. I had to use a flashlight because I'm old and blind. And then screw it in. There you go. It's mounted. That's it. it that's really, that's it. That's all there is to it. The lights look really good. Now you got to make a pigtail to go from the power box and use a waterproof fuse that one in my left hand don't don't use the one on the right it's not waterproof you can see it says weatherproof or yeah weatherproof I'm sorry not waterproof that one is fine for doing in your car or something but don't use that in a marine environment so what you got to do is is to just cut it cut that wire so it makes it into two leads and this pretty much speaks for itself uh, it's just a it's just a lot of butt connectors and a lot of shrink tubing and uh, electrical tape all that stuff just 
shrink them down nice, make it look decent. And it's again, it's red wire to red wire, black wire to black wire. Pretty straightforward. And then, crap. I ran out of tape again. I oh, wore some more tape. No, nope, not there. No, nope, not there. There it is. That'll work. And I'm, I'm just, you know, electrical tape does okay. It's not completely waterproof, but for this purpose, it's 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 going to be fine. And then on the big section, I slid some. Uh, you'll see in a minute. I slide some shrink tubing over the big section, and it it was kind of a pain in the butt to put it on there, but it worked all right. You can start. You can see that it's starting to come together, and. That, that shrink connector kind of made me mad. <laughs> and these these butt connectors are fun to work with. It makes it pretty easy. I you know I don't know if it's technically the best way I'm sure soldering it would be better but for what I do it, it works pretty well for me I've never really had any issues and I use them in uh, Jeeps I use them in motorcycles I use them for all kinds of crap not just it works well for me so that's what I use So just make it, you know, make it look the best that you can. You use electrical tape if, if you need to, and then put your fuse in there, and you're ready to rock and roll. Plug it in and see what you end up with. And I'll plug it into the power box right here. There you go. Navigation lights on the front of a Vibe Yellowfin 120. And they look really good. Can't wait to get this thing out on the water in the evening and see what it's going to look like. That's it, guys. <laughs>